Hello everybody and welcome to the interview series I Know How She Does It. A series that is dedicated to the life of Karen who seems to know all about how women worldwide are actually making it all, doing it all, having a life that they really, really desire and are doing the things that, well, at least I believe is needed to have both gender ruling in this world. And my guest today is no other than one of the Icelandic leading business women, Thordis Loa. She is an experienced businesswoman and entrepreneur who actually turned her life from being an executive in the public sector of Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, into and turned into a business entrepreneur by owning and running an international restaurant chain, both here in Iceland and in Finland. Now, Thordis Loa is, for many reasons, the, uh, has a good reason why she, I chose her to be the first woman to be interviewed in this series. It's simply because of her mindset. It is, uh, she has taught me so much of how each and every one of us can really De create the life that we want to create by by setting up a certain mindset and living by it in every single well the at least the way I see it is every single minute every single second of her life. Um, Thordis Loa is not only recognized here in, in Iceland; she is recognized worldwide. She has received international awards for all of the work that she's been doing for. For towards women empowerment. In 2011, she received the TIAW award as one of 100 top women in this world who are passionately working towards helping women worldwide. She has also received quite a, a fantastic recognition from the President of Finland. And I am so honored to have her as my first guest in the new interview series, I Know How She Does It. Welcome, Thordis Loa, or Loa, like I call you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is exciting. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes, To be it is. <laughs> hanging out live. Yeah, yeah, it is quite new. Uh, very impressive work, Runa. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We've, we've, we've talked about this thing, uh, being both entrepreneurs, living in Iceland, this little thing that is on, uh, well, sometimes you say on the top of the world, but basically a small island in the top of Iceland, of uh, the Atlantic Ocean, that we can basically connect with the world through through this media, right? Definitely. And and these this kind of uh, social media opens totally new opportunities, I, I guess. And I think it's marvelous. Uh, point of view to be here in the North Pole more or less and to be able to, to listen to the world and to speak to the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, when we use our, our te the technology and we use our creative mindset, everything is possible. I have few really burning questions in my mind that I know that people who will be watching us today and even the recordings afterwards are also dying to hear it. Um, you as an, uh, well, I believe that you are a successful woman, but what would you, how would you, um, what is your definition of success? I, th I think it's a really tricky uh, word because I, I would like to take the measurement out of it. Um, because I think if you, uh, you are a successful person, if you're doing what you love to do, and uh, and you're good or are you enjoying what you're doing and and living your own life i think that is being successful whether it's in business or in sports or in your private life i think success is is not about measuring how rich you become or how how big your companies are it's much more are you doing what you love to do and you enjoy doing it, and and uh, that's that, that's the life that you're living. It's your own successful life. Yeah, and uh, I I I know what you're saying there. So really, by finding what it is that you love and just stepping into that and then allowing you to be there, that's success on its own. Yes, I think so. And I 
and I, I think at least I don't like to measure things with with the you know shareholders uh, equity in in some uh, companies or, or or okay I know that you are successful if you are um, you know breaking the grounds in athletics or in business even but I think for for us the normal people out here uh, I think just by following your own life principles and doing what you enjoy doing that's a success of you know your own success and I think yeah. that's the core of it so when you look at people that you believe are successful can you name me people that, that pop up in your mind I, th I think it's people who, who's or at least I admire the people who who are true to themselves and they follow their hearts and they stick to it and you know success in a way doesn't come in a minute it's you know every step that you take every day in your life uh, growing I think that's the people I really admire people who are true and uh, daring I also admire a lot of courage and have the you know just living their own life their own life and and there's a key here that I think is very important for women to learn is that we need to live our lives not his life or not their life and saying there I mean our children's lives mm -hmm. because uh, one of the key factors I've learned uh, you, you you introduced me one of the things that I've been I did was uh, being the vice president of the welfare uh, service in Reykjavik and doing that I, I also was responsible for all the service to the elderly and one of the things that I learned pretty soon uh, le you know working with a lot of elderly uh, citizens of Reykjavik was that life is a journey and you are the main character in this journey and people come and go I mean you have friends your family you have husband or wives or you know spouses uh, but they also come and go and they're only part of your life not your whole life and your children are also part of your life but not your whole life so who is part of your whole life that's you yourself mm -hmm. so you know if if you want to be successful and uh, and do, do you know living your own life you need to stick to your life not his or theirs and i think that is one of the th true things that was a breakthrough for me to learn that that was not selfish that is how life should be yeah does it make yeah. any sense it makes perfect sense to me <laughs> absolutely uh, can you recall when you dis when you discovered that yeah I was I was around 32 or 3 you know pretty fresh out of university life and, and, and having lived a little bit around the world as well uh, I was a young mother, and uh, and I realized that, you know, I, I then realized how long life is. Even though we say life is short, I mean it is decades after decades after decades, and you know you can be very self oriented with your little child in your arms, but you know a decade from that point, that little child is ten years old, and then two decades is twenty, and it's doing totally different thing, and it's flying, you know, away from you. Yeah. And you need to be a person to to be doing something you want to do because children they they go they come back with their grandchildren of course that's part of your whole life but you you cannot stay just living other people's life and I, that really I thought that was a, a kind of a mind blowing session I I had with myself a few a lot of other things I learned from the elderly but this is one of the things that I I, I really treasure. Yeah, yeah, they do teach us quite a bit, don't they? Oh. So um, I, I, I didn't mention that when I was introducing you, but uh, just for the audience, uh, you are the president of FKA, the Icelandic Association of Women Business Leaders, over here. Um, yeah. And and I, I know that you've been working quite a bit on the topic of uh, uh, equal gender equality in in Iceland uh, and and abroad as well. What do you see as um, uh, when when we have both genders coming together and mm -hmm. and working in the corporate world in the polit in the political world, what do you see as really the benefit of of having both? 
I think it's best if we can have both of them together in, in a kind of a balanced uh, amount as well. Um, because if you have only, I think if you have a very, uh, uh, how, what, do you, what is the English word, homogeneous uh, group? Uh, <laughs> Muscular, yeah. No, 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 I'm talking about uh, like there's only one kind of person. What, what is yeah. that word for that? That is not homogeneous, no. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, one one particular type of people. Yeah. yeah, I think it's very important for us to have diversity, mm -hmm. uh, and diversity in gender, and also diversity in uh, in you know age and also background. And I think uh, that is vital to us, not only for for the success of the companies that we're working for and the tasks and the projects, but also for the environment, the working environment that we work in, and how exciting and fun it is to be all together. I think it's it's always more dynamic than it if it is uh, like a singular type that everybody thinks the same, has the same background, and uh, you know, if you go, uh, Iceland is a very, uh, still I'm lacking that world, uh, word, I think it's homogeneous, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, Iceland is a country of, of of people from northern Europe. We have more or less just one religion, so uh, it's very simple in a way. And 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 so we really need to cherish the diversity and, and trust it as well. Mhm, mm mhm. So the outcome of the balance. What do you want to see as the outcome? Well, that comes back to the core of my values. I think mm. men and women are are equal are 50 50 more or less in the world except for a few countries where things are a little more controlled but I would say overall uh, the big picture is 50 50 men and women uh, the whole society is built up by the two genders living together uh, you know continuing life together by by having children and I think from that core, it's my belief, and it's always been my belief, that both genders have equal right to run this world, and that is how it should be run. Uh, it's been run in a wrong uh, matter for, for decades and ages, and we need to, to straighten that up. So mm -hmm. we need to be 50-50 everywhere. Men have to open the doors into the boardrooms, into the management, into the politics, and women have to open the doors for the men into the homes or into their sacred treasures that they have been, you know, managing and controlling for ages as well. So both genders need to open their doors, and and we really need to do this because we have not been running the world nicely for the last decades and ages and we have to learn from it and we have never done this so and it's so natural it's it's really I, I, it's no brainer for me yeah and I, you, I know that you live it in, in everything that you do um, and uh, you are a, a big role model for everyone when it comes to this and so many other areas which leads me into leadership role um, you being one of the leaders, the women business leaders in, in Iceland. Um, can you tell us a little bit how you feel, what was the turning point for you to really step into your own leadership role and maybe share how you see people worldwide can could be doing that? Um, wow, that's a big question. <laughs> uh, uh, leadership I learned it pretty pretty young that I wanted to participate uh, and 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 lean in if I can use that phrase. Uh, I, I I learned that pretty young. I also learned pretty young that I I was not necessarily best in everything, and I didn't need to be. I just needed to be a team player for the things to be done. So. Mm -hmm. I, I think I grew from being a pretty good team player into being uh, the leader of the team, and 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 it fits me well. My character, I'm probably pretty bossy, so uh, I, 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 it came natural to me. But it doesn't say that I've always been good at it. I had to learn a lot, and uh, and 
And to the leaders of the world, I would say, to me, there are core issues there. Leaders need to respect. Leaders need to trust. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and leaders need to understand the dynamics of uh, communications and relationships. Because uh, leaders, you know, no leader can do anything, uh, uh, you know, by yourself. It's always part of a, of a joint uh, forces or teamwork. So for me, it's, it's all about teamwork, actually. Mm. Yeah, and, and 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 getting getting people engaged in that in that work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when it comes to women and leaders, where do you mm. feel that women are leading differently? What's the difference really in leadership between the gender, in your opinion? Well, I'm I'm not really an ex a specialist there, but I I just from drawing the conclusion that women and men are different in, in mm -hmm. kind of a how we think and, and, and our perspectives to the world, the questions we ask, the, the, our view of the world is different, and which is I think is amazing because that makes the diversity in having the two genders, genders together. From that, from that angle, I think women probably have a different leadership style, but I think the outcome is most likely uh, similar. I would most I, I I would think so. Our style is uh, is is so it's, it's the women's style I presume. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, it's it's just uh, I would say it's no better and no worse and it's probably but probably different. But I don't have any any big data or anything uh, you know to back me up in this. And but there probably are some research on this. But my true belief is that if women stay true to them and men straight stay true to themselves uh, the leadership part is kind of a uh, flows with us and 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 it's part of who we are and our characters mm -hmm. yeah true so what would I know that you've been you have really worked on yourself and as you said you know at the age of 32 you 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 start to realize the importance for yourself to step into your own leadership role um, and I am probably you guess that that's what happens to most of us in our life that at one point or another we we need to take that uh, um, basically take that decision and act on it um, what are in your in your view what are the tips or 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 tricks that women can implement in their lives to still be themselves and be true to themselves and have they that courage I mean how do how do you, would you say that women should work on their own self leadership and have the courage to really step into it and be authentic be themselves because I think that is something that um, could be is, is difficult for many but I think you said it already it's the courage that is the key factor. I think we need to, I, I, and, and, and this is, the, I don't think this is any rocket science. I think the tips are more or less what we've been discussing here already. The tips are stay true to yourself and, and, and uh, kind of uh, uh, don't doubt yourself. Just be, you know, ha have courage, follow what you want to do and, and do it your way. Uh, because there are so many ways of doing things, and I think we really need the courage to to drag ourselves, you know, wherever we want to go. Yeah. Uh, my tips to women are just remember this is your life. Do what you want to do. You know, believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else does. So it's really the core. You know, be yourself believe in yourself and have uh, courage. I think courage is very vital. And then you have to find a way. If, if, you, if you lack, if you think you lack the belief in yourself and you lack the courage, then you have to find your own way to build those, uh, uh, you know, characteristics up. And, and, you know, there are probably millions of ways to do it, but, and there's a lot of help out there as well. I've I've used coaches. I've used uh, psychologists. I've used colleagues. I've used friends. Uh, everybody in my network, I always get support from, and I 
I really cherish that. People around us can give us huge strengths and courages to keep on our lives. And, and, and I hope to pay it forward as well to other people who, who be, trust me for their thoughts and beliefs. And, and you know, pay it forward, stay, stay tuned to your own. Does it make any sense? It makes all the sense in the world. And I think that is actually a great way to, to finish this, the, our little interview here. Time is up. It's 20 minutes. And I promise people that we will be 20 minutes. So let's keep that promise. Loa, thank you so much for your insight. And thank you. Keep, keep the magic going because you are an inspiration to all of us. And as I, as I started off with, you're my role model when it comes to how to communicate my life with brilliance. Thank you so much. Thank you, Runa, and, 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 and good luck with this interview uh, series, and, and congratulations with it. Thank you. Speak later. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.